In match number 39, Team Solo Mid and Gaming Gear EU took to the Rift for their last showing at Worlds. He's now. a strong jungler. And coming in and ganking lanes yep. just for harass oh! as well. All right, we warned you. Yep, there it is. Yep, it's going to be one of those games. They're like, wait. Reggie's just getting himself into a whole they heap don't. of trouble here. This oh! Is, it's, it's a whole... How didn't he feel him? Oh, man. He's, he's not that furry, I guess. He's covered in the space right suit. Right on top of him. He's got to be running out of oxygen. He's going to come out soon. Oh, the flash, oh, the flash, the flash, flash play, but they go for Sona. Some of the lowest HP in the beginning of the game. Oh, Reggie oh, gets first it. blood for Reginald, but he goes down valiantly. Wild Turtle's Oriana challenges Mazarin to a contest, but just can't outdrink the Gragas. The quick feet coming out from Wild Turtle. Puts on the shell a bit more defense for himself. The party oh, goes down. Oh, Is the ignite there? Turtle goes down. He can't dance it out. The odd one will not be able to finish. They get out with a 300 combined HP. The Jukes, the anti-Jukes, the anti-anti-Jukes. His gank on. What? Oh, he got it. He actually hit it as soon as the auto attack went out. Tries to get the dueling down, but it cannot happen. The blue buff there on Mazarin has him pick up the kill. They could go hard on Reggie here. There's the aggro. He jumps in with the hook. He says, you want me? You got me. Going in is the odd one from the backside. Getting that horseplay in there. And Spyro takes another turret shot. That's only going to help to solidify the kill. Odd one coming up big on CS. Now two kills for himself. They may just go for Deadly Brother. He's going to have the red buff as soon as he gets that. It's all said and done. Odd one, one more turret shot. Does get out. Look at Mazarin suddenly take action against Wild Turtle. You won't see a fat guy move this fast very often. ...themselves in the top lane, but again, answered in the bottom lane now. Gaming Gear really adapting to everything that TSM has tried to do, not letting themselves be thrown off by the early first blood. Turtle gets hit back, but like oh, I said, it missed. pushes them away. They want to focus their power into one spot, but the time spent there was Lantern. looking to where they were going. Alanir now at the end of the fight. Dyrus comes in, the crescendo goes out. It is not going to dance the odd one as he gallops himself to a double kill, now going on to Inspiro. Always the focus here. You can see the look on his face. He is not happy about this right now. He is going to try to run. It is hard to run an address and he is going to go down oh reggie can't even get that one though dyrus had to commit to supporting the rest of tsm though so this allows nbs to answer with this top turret tsm are actually falling behind in this game but will contesting a dragon be the way to give them some leverage have gone down and overall that just opens up the first half of your this jungle. is definitely go time here. reginald takes the barrel to the face he's gonna start chasing off on the right side but alanir says no way Peel duty coming in. Reginald inside Cataclysm. Mazarin with a body slam takedown. MBS on a wild turtle. They will still turn this fight. A very nice box going down by Reginald, or Reginald by Dyrus that stops the team. But TSM was almost inside and on the other side of that box. Oh, it's just the last hole. Is the dragon? Wait. Oh, on the chase. Who tied their Nikes tighter? Uh oh. No, don't walk into it. Ah. Oh. So this is new ground for Gaming Gear. Even without the audience and the cast a popular vote, will this be them going out with a bang? Or can TSM turn it at the final hurdle? They're looking for their first win at here at Worlds. It's going to be their last game. And they're going to finish it out strong. I'm not going to lie. TSM still has the ultimates that would make you disengage. You'd have to get out of there. The Hemo Plague AoE, the Command Shockwave AoE, the damage oh, they you got can Mazarin. do off a Hackerum ultimate. The Spirit of the Dread going as well, trying to get that damage as well as heal himself. And Things like that could stop the push. Very good job there by TSM, taking the initiative. But with that down, I like two this. very, very important ultimates down. They can't pull that twice. Gaming gear showing they know they're ahead. This, a lot of teams hesitate at this point. Everlast asking for losing one out. member. Closes the Cataclysm finally. Almost couldn't get that down. MBS throws himself in. A three-man crescendo. The knock-up after. The crowd control follow-up is so consecutive. TSM finally moves after a good three seconds. And this is what I'm talking about. That disengage. The AOE one after the other. The ability to stop the final push. TSM come back. Starting right now. 31 minutes in. Nope. Locking it down. The Nexus turrets there. Dyrus. Not flashing for the last play. The flash was down. So are the Nexus turrets. Gaming Gear picking up the W in this last matchup versus Team Solo Mid in the group stage. <laughs> Ended too fast for Mazarin. He wanted that kill there. So finally, even though TSM were a little crazy with their team comp, Gaming Gear bring home a win as they return to Lithuania.
There's only one match left to go, and then we get on to those crucial quarterfinals. I know you all want to see them, and I've been working as hard as I can to get them out as fast as possible. My name is Ben Forbes, and thank you very much for watching.